Good morning, everybody. It's Eric from the Reptile Room. We're looking at some amphibians today. These guys here are called tricolor dart frogs, and they're just a small little species. We've been breeding these for a while, and they've really been breeding prolifically. You can just see them hopping along, and they're a humid little terrarium. These guys like to be quite wet. Now let's move over to a different species we just got in. These are called uh, microspots. And you can't see it on the film very well, but they actually have this really metallic look to their skin. It's kind of like cheap nail polish. It's really cool. Now this is a blue azurus. This is a favorite of mine. I'm just a sucker for blue critters. You don't see them too often. Uh, now all of these are poison dart frogs. They're in theory poisonous, but this is due to what they would be eating in the wild. This one here is a bumblebee hanging out with them. Um, but they eat things in the wild that make them toxic. In captivity, we feed them flightless fruit flies, and these are totally harmless, uh, and thus the uh, frogs themselves are harmless as well. This one here is called a sip. Uh, it's got a bigger name than that, but it's a bit of a tongue twister I'm not used to. You can see how he's tapping his toe there. He's actually, that's a male, he's trying to get the attention of some ladies so he can make some more little sips. Uh, anyways, moving on from the dart frogs, here's our paludarium for the fire bellies now. It's grown in pretty nicely. We got some new lights on it. There's one of our fire bellies there. We've got a we've got a bunch hanging out in there. Uh, and this is their water feature. I actually haven't changed this water in quite a while because I'm using the land feature as a filter. It overflows into it and sucks it back out. And the uh, water quality in here has been fantastic as a result. Uh, here's a top shot. You can kind of see how they've got plenty of structure to grab onto, and that limnophilia floating in there is where these guys are laying their eggs. Uh, we've had a whole whack ton of eggs come through. Here's actually one of the tadpoles I haven't been able to catch in there. They're really quick. And here's the tadpoles I have been able to catch. You can't see much because of the cover, but there is many, so we'll have these soon. That's all for today, guys. Thank you very much, and we'll catch you in the next one.